just going to rant because this article pissed me off so fucking bad. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't even know the website. I'm just looking. Oh, it's from L, L-E or whatever the hell the freaking name of that thing is. Saving for a daughter, but not for a son. This father is starting a fund to combat the wage gap. Right in the title. Right in the title, the stupidity is is on display. You realize why there's a wage gap. There's a wage gap because men will pay for women, like you are doing with your daughter. Your daughter is going to see the fund you are creating for her and realize, hey, I don't have to work as hard as my as my brother to get money. So right off the bat, you are teaching your daughter absolutely the traditional way of things. Don't worry, honey. I got your back. <sighs> oh, but there's a few things that I wanted to pick out of this goddamn... Uh, this goddamn... mess of... Uh, I don't even understand this guy, because he's like, you have a priori experience over your own life, and you seem to miss huge aspects of it and it just like you, you you're obviously looking at your life through a lens that's making you miss things that have happened to you for example i'll just just get to this particular one particular thing one particular thing she's talking about his wife oh for god's sake where are you Okay, here it is. All right. He's talking about his wife here. During our time together, I've gotten to know the story of her life. Played it back many times. Every time she decided to change her path to go into construction to return to school, it took substantial effort and planning. People were critical, and it sometimes just didn't work. And every time I decided to change something, I was going to graduate school and then just sort of changed my mind. Wasn't in the mood. It worked out just fine. All right, but here's what's interesting is the paragraph before she says, he says this. We can afford to do, okay, older women who work in the field have taken my wife aside to explain just how sexist construction can be. But other people have told us about a hiring freeze, well, which would affect both genders. Many of these people advise her to wait to stay in the industry. It needs women, they've said, and we can afford to do this, to wait. So we do. Well, why is it, sir, can you afford to wait with your wife unemployed? Because you're working and giving her that choice for her to wait for her preferred profession. Because here, you go up one, one more paragraph. She prepared our taxes with such care that our accountant hired her part-time. She did such a good job helping manage a nonprofit that its executive director offered to turn her into a project manager. But for the software business... And Maureen, her, his wife, wants to be in construction. <sighs> and then down, down a, few a few below, my wife does not have a full-time job, and she wants one, and that's out of our control. No, it isn't, dear. It is not. Your wife was offered a full-time job, not in the field that she wanted. And because you are paying for her ass, she got the choice to wait for the field that she wanted. And you completely missed this. You didn't even know this. You didn't even notice this. That you are affording your wife choices that you yourself don't get. Do you get to, to choose a job in the field that you want? I don't know. It's not in the frickin' article. Maybe it is. I didn't read that far. I'm not going to. Because this is so pissing me off so much. I don't want to read any further. You have just... You have just torpedoed your own thesis. You are giving your wife the option to wait for a job in a field that she wants. That's a choice that she's getting that most men never get. Because guess what? They have to pay for a woman. So they don't get the option of waiting for a job in a field that they don't want. If someone gives them a full-time job, they take it. Yeah, and you don't even see this. It's like you're, 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 the fucking traditionalism of your own brain twists the world into, into, a, into something that you can't even recognize. You don't even see that you have afforded your wife this option. And she, she absolutely could have a full-time job if she wanted one, because she was offered one. But she decided she wanted it, because it wasn't in the right field. Who gave her that choice? You did. And yet you seem to want to lecture men 
about how women are afforded fewer choices. No, friend, they are not afforded fewer choices. They're afforded more choices. And the reason why they're afforded more choices is because the government will force men to fund women's choices. And this is what's really interesting, because if you looked at history, history, you would see that there are other places where there have been wage gaps. Wage gaps that favored one group over another. And almost invariably, those wage, gap, those wage gaps favored, if you're not talking about aristocracy or class structure, those wage gaps favored the people doing the work over the people who did not do the work. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say almost invariably, but quite often this is what happened. And guess what? Quite often the people doing the work were slaves. You look throughout history, there are many instances where slaves earn more than their owners. But guess what? There was this tricky little thing that happened. It's called the government giving part or all of the slaves' own earnings to their slave owner. So even though they could have at the time said, oh my god, all of the slaves, they're oppressing their owners by earning more, you can't, that's only half the story. You have to look at who the government gives the money to at the end of the fucking day. And right now, the government gives the money to women. So women don't have the incentive to actually get out and earn the difference because the, the government is giving it to them. Note that the richest, wealthiest, most... Um, property people in the U.S. are boomer white women. There you go. Because they've inherited everything. And now that their husbands are dying off, they have complete control over it. And that's exactly the same situation throughout history. You can, you can look at lots of slave-owning societies and say, hey, the slaves made more than the masters. Obviously, it was slaveyarchy. But no. That is meaningless unless you look at who the government decides owns that money at the end of the day. And it certainly isn't men. You don't see a, 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 um, you don't see a large shift of money from women to men. You see it the other way. And that's why the wage gap exists. Exactly because of this. Because if your wife was paying the bills, she would have fucking took that full-time job that was offered regardless of the field it was in. But because she wasn't, because you gave her the option, she decided to wait. And thus the wage gap. And thus your entire premise is total bullshit. You're just another traditionalist idiot trying to pretend that you're a progressive while still indulging in the same shit that causes women to not earn more. Namely, paying for your, for your daughter's choices and paying for your wife's choices. 